Hi, my name is Chris Casado. I'm co-founder of the Trans Sierra Extreme Challenge and the Grand Canyon Challenge. And my first ever overnight backpacking trek more than 20 years ago was the exact same Trans Sierra Trail to Mount Whitney that we continue to inspire individuals with today. Now, we pride ourselves on making it as easy as possible for people with limited or no backpacking experience to go out there and experience the Sierras and the Canyon. And that all starts with simplifying the gear that you need. All right, so what do you need? Well, you really don't need high-end expensive gear to backpack this year or the canyon. Just think layered and lightweight. Our gear checklist is pretty simple and incorporates over two decades of backpacking experience. And if you follow it, you'll be well prepared with a lightweight pack. To make our experiences easy to join, we, we provide all major gear like backpacks, sleeping bags, and tents to those who need them. And if you already have these items, you're totally welcome to bring them. Just keep in mind that your sleeping bag is gonna have to be at least 30 degrees Fahrenheit or better. You want to have at least 60 liters capacity in your backpack and you want a lightweight tent. For footwear you want a pair of comfortable hiking boots or shoes, a pair of lightweight water or camp shoes, three pairs of good socks, and a package of moleskin. Thick and heavy boots really aren't necessary. If you prefer to hike in cross trainers or other shoes that's totally okay, just bring whatever's comfortable. For camp shoes, any lightweight or quick drying shoe with a heel strap will do. In terms of clothing, I take with me a warm jacket, a fleece pullover, a long sleeve shirt, a couple of t-shirts, and for bottoms I have one pair of shorts, one pair of pants, one set of thermals, and a couple pair of underwear. For kitchen items, this is great news. You won't have to do any dishes for the week. Your guides will take care of everything, all the food planning, cooking, dishes, and cleanup. All we ask you to bring is a plastic bowl, a plastic cup, a spoon or spork, and a couple of water bottles. You'll need at least two quarts capacity, and these can be regular old water bottles or a bladder that fits within your pack. Finally, for accessories, here are the additional items you'll need. You want a bandana, you'll use this as a napkin or a towel or a sponge, a warm hat, a sun hat or a hat with a brim, a small flashlight, a lightweight set of gloves, insect repellent, a poncho, sunglasses, Sunscreen rated at least 30 SPF. A toothbrush and toothpaste with floss. Toilet paper and a Ziploc bag with an extra Ziploc bag stuffed inside. And finally, you need a large garbage bag, something like 33 gallon size or greater. And we'll teach you how to use the garbage bag as a pack cover in the event of rain. Now at this point, you can take all the items you plan on wearing on the first day and set them aside. And all the other clothing can be rolled and stuffed into a gallon size Ziploc bags. This will keep them clean, dry, and compartmentalized so they are easy to find on the trail. Now in our checklist, we include a list of optional items that you're welcome to bring, but don't stray too far from this list. Overpacking is a novice mistake, but we really, really try hard to help people avoid. So here are the optional items I bring with me on each trip. Chapstick, my smartphone for pictures, money and ID for emergency, pen and paper, a couple tablets of ibuprofen or Advil, and a pocket knife. And that's it. All the group items like food storage containers, cooking gear, fuel, first aid, water purification, meals, snacks, etc. We'll take care of all of that. So I hope this helps as you consider and prepare for your upcoming trek. To download our gear checklist or to learn more, please visit us at tsxchallenge.com. Thank you so much for watching.